Today we're going to see how we can solve Sudoku using system Verilog constraints. Uh, my name is Debarshi Chatterjee and uh, this is a very common design verification interview question which is uh, asked by uh, various companies. So let's see how we can do that. So let's quickly go over the game rules. In Sudoku you are given a 9 by 9 uh, grid and some of the numbers are filled and there are some numbers are empty. So the user has to fill up the empty spots with um, numbers between one to nine so that there is no repetition in the rows no repetition in the column and no repetition in each of these three cross three grids so to solve it, uh, this problem using system verilog constraints we have to create a, a two-dimensional um, matrix uh, of um, integers uh, let's say where there are m rows and uh, m columns so we create a two-dimensional uh, matrix and populate that matrix with the numbers that are already provided and then we pad some zeros uh, to show that there are missing numbers and then we create a random two-dimensional uh, matrix uh, of the same size we call that random two-dimensional matrix box and the the constant that were provided to us we call that matrix puzzle and then we start writing constraints which um, of how to constrain these elements using whatever is provided. So we write two constraints. Uh, the first constraint says box ij inside one to nine means we're gonna fill each of these small boxes using numbers one to nine. And then the next is we're saying puzzle ij not equal to zero implies box ij equals puzzle ij. That means if any element here uh, is not zero, that means the numbers that have been provided in the puzzle matrix just need to be copied over to the uh, the box matrix. So next we need to write constraints um, for these three rules of games. Uh, there are three rules that no repetition in column, no repetition in row, and the no repetition three by three grids. So we have to write one constraint each for these rules. So let's go for the first constraint. Uh, what we're saying here is if I, e I, I, so we iterate over the random matrix box, um, we use two for loops, the outside for loop having index ij and um, the inside uh, for loop having index indices ii and jj. So uh, basically box ij and box ii jj are two boxes here and the first constraint says that if ii equals i and jj not equal to j. So that means in this kind of situation where we're in the same row, i i equals i means we're in the same row, but the column numbers are different, then, then the box values must be different. This says that um, the row, the values in the row must be unique. And the reason we need jj equals not equal to j is because if both i i uh, if i i equals i and j j equals j, they, that is the same box, and same box will uh, have same value. Similarly, the co column constraints look same. It's uh, doing the reverse. Here we are saying i i not equals to i means the rows are not same, but the columns are same. And if that happens, then the box values will be uh, different and then distinct. Now we have to deal with the last constraint, which is saying that uh, the, the integer values in each of these three by three grids cannot be, um, there cannot be any repetition. So to write the constraint for that, let's first observe um, this expression, three i over three plus j over three. Let's suppose i and j are the coordinates of each of these boxes, right? And so mm, in this three by three grid, the topmost has coordinates zero, zero, and this one has two, two. So if we if we plug in zero zero in this expression, you will see it will come out to be zero. If we plug this max value, this two two, in this expression, it will also come out to be zero. So all coordinates for all ij's in this three by three grid will have a value zero for this expression. So what that means is if three i i over three plus j j over three is equals to three i over three plus j over three if this condition is satisfied that means the box ij and box iijj are in the same three by three grid uh, you can also note that you know for for all ij's in this three by three grid this expression will have a value of one um, for all ij's in this grid this expression will have a value of two and so on 
So if this condition is satisfied, that means the boxes are in the same three by three grid. Um, but we have to make sure that these box IJ and box IIJJ do not refer to the same um, element. And that is done by this latter part where we make sure that I not equal to II or J not equal to JJ means at least the row or the column are different, but this they're in the same grid. That means their box values must be distinct. So that's the last constraint. Um, Okay, so I copied over in the code in an EDA playground and uh, uh, applied the same constraint that we discussed and kept the same problem. And if we run this code, we will see um, that it prints out the final solution to the pseudo P. So I hope that helps and um, if you like this video, please subscribe, like the video and subscribe to the channel and write in the comments what other interview questions you want me to solve. Thank you.